What's up folks, your buddy Fatal Roadie. Today we're going to do a Raw recap. This is supposed to be the first Raw under Paul Heyman's direction. And how do we start it out? With the part-time Universal Champion Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman coming out. We go to a recap of the Extreme Rules main event where Lesnar cashed in. Paul Heyman flaps his lips like only he could about Brock Lesnar. And then announces it's going to be a 10-man cross-brand battle royal to face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. The participants are Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Big E, Cesaro, Braun Strowman, Rey Mysterio, Baron Corbin, Sami Zayn, Bobby Lashley, and Roman Reigns. And to make a long story short, too late. Paul Heyman calls all ten of them Brock's bitches. We then go to a six-man tag match. Ricochet and the Usos versus Robert Roode and the Revival. This is a two out of three falls match. Oh, for God's sake. Not too far after it starts, Ricochet gets the first fall. The Revival win the second fall, and Ricochet gets a 6.30 on Robert Roode to win the match. Seriously, we need to get rid of these two out of three falls matches. They're ridiculous. After the match, AJ Styles and the club come out. Ricochet does a suicide dive out onto AJ. The Usos get into a fight with Gallows and Anderson. The Revival and Robert Roode join in. The faces get beat down, and AJ lands a phenomenal forearm on Ricochet. Afterwards, the club stand tall. Alright. We then have the Viking Raiders versus a bunch of jobbers. Guess what? Viking Raiders won it. Then we have a recap of Extreme Rules with The Undertaker, Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre match. Backstage, Drew McIntyre confronts Cedric Alexander about what happened last week. Looks like we're now going to have a match, which is next. Alexander versus McIntyre. McIntyre basically just ragdolls Alexander throughout most of this match, leaving little to no offense for Cedric. Drew McIntyre sets up for the Alabama Slam, but Alexander rolls through, sneaks the pin, and gets out of Dodge. We then have a recap of the Finn Balor Shinsuke Nakamura match. Which leads us to our next match, Samoa Joe versus Finn Balor. This is an okay match. It was kind of quick. Samoa Joe got the pin. Right after, he continues the beatdown. Finn Balor fights back, nails him with a coup de gras. As Finn Balor is celebrating in the ring, his music stops. The lights start going out. It sounds like something's going on in the ring. There's some lights starting to flash. And you can see Bray Wyatt having hold of Finn Balor. He hits him with his sister Abigail. The lights go out and you hear Bray Wyatt laughing. So I guess Finn Balor is going to be the first victim of Bray Wyatt's return. Backstage, we have the Street Profits. I guess they're now the storytellers and hype men of the WWE. Bruh. We then have Zack Ryder in the ring. And backstage, Maria Kanellis is fighting with Mike on who's going to be facing Zack Ryder. Maria starts walking out. But Mike says that she's pregnant. She can't be fighting. He goes in, quickly gets a rough rider, and gets the pin. The announcer points out that Zack Ryder had won in less than a minute. And then Maria continues to run down Mike Kanellis. Really, where are we going with this? We then have the club versus the Lucha House Party. This was a bullshit match. Ricochet comes running out and attacks AJ Styles. What? Uh, no DQ. Um, what the fuck? Hello? But we did have to reset the match, so we go to a commercial. After a commercial, it's still a bullshit match. Kalisto taps out to the calf crusher. And in case you missed it earlier, we have another recap of the main event at Extreme Rules. And then after an interview with Seth Rollins, did you know he's in a relationship with Becky Lynch? WWE thinks we have the mind of a goldfish because we show another recap of the Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor encounter. Seriously, that just happened like maybe 10 minutes ago. We then have Carmella versus Naomi versus Natalia versus Alexa Bliss in a four women elimination match for the number one contender for Becky Lynch's title. Nikki Cross is sitting at ringside. Shortly after the match starts, Carmella and Alexa Bliss take a powder. Naomi and Natalia go at it for a bit. Carmella comes in, tries to sneak a pin on both of them. Alexa Bliss comes in, she gets the pin on Carmella. For the most part of the rest of this match, it's essentially just Naomi versus Natalia, with Alexa Bliss running in just to keep it interesting. The crowd is chanting, this is awful. I agree. Natalia eliminates Naomi. After Nikki Cross tries to get the crowd to cheer on Alexa Bliss, which backfires, with the crowd yelling, you suck, the crowd is turning on this match really quick. Alexa Bliss taps out to the sharpshooter, so Natalia will be facing Becky Lynch at SummerSlam. After the match, Natalia and Becky Lynch shoot words at each other. Alright, really not looking forward to this one. We then have an episode of Miz TV. This is a waste of time. His guest was Dolph Ziggler. Dolph runs down the Miz, mentions his wife, gets a beat down. Waste of time. We have yet another recap of Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. Really, seriously, do we have that bad of an intention span? Then in a honeymoon suite, Drake Maverick is walking around wearing pretty Hello. much nothing but the 24-7 title. He tries to get busy with his wife. Room service comes in with some champagne. The room service dude turns out to be a referee. And R-Truth gets his 24-7 title back. So now we come to our main event. The 10-man cross-branded battle royal. Big E, Sami Zayn, Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio, Baron Corbin, Roman Reigns, Cesaro, Braun Strowman, Randy Orton, and Seth Rollins. Brock Lesnar comes out. He's sitting at the top of the ramp to watch the match. 
The usual chaos in all these battle royals, so I'll just get straight to the eliminations. Bobby Lashley eliminates Cesaro. Braun Strowman eliminates Bobby Lashley. Sami Zayn eliminates Big E. Randy Orton eliminates Sami Zayn. Baron Corbin eliminates Rey Mysterio. Seth Rollins eliminates Baron Corbin. In the midst of half of this, Randy Orton gets thrown out through the middle ropes. Roman Reigns tries to spear Braun Strowman. He sidesteps and ends up hitting Seth Rollins. As Reigns is trying to eliminate Strowman, Seth Rollins comes running up and eliminates both Strowman and Reigns. Thinking he's victorious, Rollins is almost eliminated by Orton as he comes running in, but Seth Rollins is able to eliminate Orton, so we're going to have Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Again. After Paul Heyman meekly announces Seth Rollins as the winner, Seth Rollins goes Brock Lesnar and trying to get into the ring. Brock Lesnar walks to the end of the ramp. He doesn't get in. Shocker. And we end tonight's Raw. Supposedly for the first show of Paul Heyman's reign, this was kind of iffy. We started off with a talking segment, albeit it was a short one, so I will give him credit to that, but there was just way too much wasted time here. A bunch of these matches really didn't need to happen. We really could have gone away with the two out of three falls matches. Why the hell the one match with the club and Lucha House Party wasn't disqualified, I have no idea. But hopefully it'll get better on SmackDown. But that'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's Raw, what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.